Welcome to The Dental Talk Show. My name is Jordan. And my name's Jay. The Dental Talk Show is the place to come to find out the latest news, views, politics, products and techniques used in the dental industry today. Today's episode is about 3D printing in the dental industry. Some people think that the ability to reproduce a tooth while you wait in the dental chair is something new. It's actually been around for about 30 years with a product such as Cerex, which is used in 3D modelling software to carve out or mill a tooth from a piece of porcelain. The biggest area in which 3D printing is used is in orthodontics. Today we spoke to Nimrod Dental, based in London. So my name is Nimrod Tal, I'm the director of Nimrod Dental and I opened the company as a dental laboratory originally nearly 25 years ago. The business started as, as a traditional orthodontic laboratory whereby we served orthodontists really. They would give us the instructions what we want to do and we would make the appliances and since then uh, a lot of things have changed and we moved uh, slowly from a traditional lab um, to uh, actually uh, giving solutions to dentists. We would use uh, first of all our long uh, extensive experience and secondly we would use the 3D technology to do preliminary setups of teeth align teeth, tell them how much they need to reduce the width of the teeth, for example. All this can be predicted and uh, sent back to them uh, electronically before anything has started. Uh, and that was, that was a big revolution. They can do it in a traditional way. They send the impressions to us, like a normal party alginate impression, doesn't matter what. We cast the model and after that we go for the surface scanner and we scan the models, we put it on occlusion and we start to manipulate all the models through there. But the most advanced dentists, uh, you can actually uh, retrieve uh, the impressions, let's say, if they have an um, intraoral scan. When you go for more advanced and high accuracy, because we, as well, we print um, implant drilling guides, so this information, we retrieve it from the CT scan. So when they send us a CT scan, we'll be able to translate it on a workable model, and we can print it as well from the, the CT scan. And the, this is what we're going to look on the future. Even if the dentist uh, would send a normal traditional impression, uh, we want to have a CT scan here and we'll scan the impression. And this is where we know that we get the most accuracy possible. First of all, the dentist can very quickly see uh, the end result. They can communicate it to the patient uh, very quickly. We realized you cannot do extensive treatments with, with in, in a manual way. You had to find some sort of technology that would allow you to move teeth in a more predictable way, uh, accurate way, and that could be replicated. The, um, the capability of being able to use it uh, on surgery is a, is a brilliant thing because we can start to producing uh, prototypes that they, the surgeons, not just for dentistry, but for all kind of surgeons, uh, surgeries and surgeons can use it. Sometimes you can actually print uh, jigs to hold the bones on position. You can actually print the skulls where they can bend the titanium plates beforehand. So this is where we would like to go with these machines. So um, you can, they, they can mix the two materials. So imagine this is a very hard and this is a very soft one, but you can mix them. So you make this one slightly white and uh, harder and stiffer. So it, it is brilliant the way that you can do it. And we did a project with uh, Imperial College London uh, where they're developing a new heart valve. And again, we, we um, printed for them a lot of pro prototypes for heart valves that they're going to try and then obviously grow tissue in it to, to see how it works. And again, that's another advantage of using 3D printing and technology. And they could do quite a few of prototypes uh, right away. You know, in a, in a very short space of time, we created quite a lot of models and that was very, very helpful. Thanks for watching the Dental Talk Show this week. Please hit subscribe, follow on Twitter and also download from iTunes. Don't forget to visit the website at www.dentaltalkshow.com and add your comments below. Catch you next time.